I'm Elisa Kreisinger, and I'm here at the premiere of Battle of the Sexes, where Emma Stone plays the tennis great Billie Jean King. Now, the movie centers on Billie Jean King's iconic story and fight for equal pay. Sound familiar? Yeah. A lot of women still have to deal with this shit, even though it's 2017. So, why are men so threatened by successful women? We're going to ask these celebs and see if we can find out. You've got a great line in the film where you say, we just want a little bit of what you got and that's what you can't stand. Why do you think it's so hard for men in leadership positions to accept women who are great at their jobs, who are successful, who are really powerful? I don't know, it's, that's a hard question to answer. Hollywood's still run by old white guys. Sports are run by old white guys. You know, that's why. This country's run by out of touch old white guys. And uh, that's, we've got to get rid of them, girls. Oppression is always fear-based, it's always people feeling threatened and people scared of change and people scared of the unknown and, and things that are new. Remember when Gwyneth Paltrow named her kid Apple and just turned the whole world upside down and now it's like, oh, that's a beautiful name, Apple. You just get used to shit. I faced certain things when I was just starting out as an artist. I remember making my first record and feeling like my voice wasn't the loudest one in the room and I was you know, having to remind people, wait, I'm the artist here, <laughs> you know, I have an opinion. It's a challenge of tradition and the way things have always been, and people like those things because they make them feel comfortable and they make them feel powerful, and maybe you're not that powerful, and that shouldn't be that scary, but it is to some people. I think powerful women are intimidating, you know, and... We but just, we better get we, used we, to yeah, it. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, it, look, men have been in charge for a long time, and, and it's going to take a while for all of us to get used to sharing the stage. Um, and I can say from experience, it's a good thing. I've also worked with some really incredible men who are totally like, yes, ambitious women rock. I hope more and more we can have the conversation and move the needle forward and come to a place of, it doesn't matter what gender you are, it doesn't matter what race you are, it doesn't matter what your sexuality is, everyone is absolutely equal. That's humanity and that's just the truth.